We know that the scariest thing when dealing with arteriovenous malformations is the propensity to bleed. We estimate that that risk is somewhere between 2 and 3 percent per year, which doesn't sound like a lot, but additive over a lifetime poses significant risk. Therefore, it becomes very important uh, for us to follow these patients closely and determine which patients would benefit from treatment. The treatment options for an arteriovenous malformation include just simple observation, watching it with serial imaging. There's also surgical removal, wherein we perform uh, a craniotomy and go into the brain and, and remove the arteriovenous malformation. There's minimally invasive techniques, including the use of endovascular embolization, in which we go inside of the blood vessels and inject materials that shut off the blood flow to it. There's also the option of stereotactic radiosurgery, in which an energy source is used to essentially scar the arteriovenous malformation. We provide that treatment in collaboration uh, with our radiation oncologists at the Cancer Center. There are some benign lesions that when it's either too large or in a location that's not amendable for the neurosurgeon to do another procedure, um, we can treat it with x-rays. And the advantage for the patient is they can come in, get a treatment for um, their particular problem, very minimal side effects, very, they don't feel anything, they don't see anything, there's nothing that would go with them, so there's no danger to anybody there around for what they go through. And it allows us an extra weapon uh, to be able to treat some AVMs that maybe we couldn't have treated uh, with another type of procedure. So it, it's just an extra tool to support the neurosurgeons and help them do their job. In my view, a patient dealing with a scary and daunting problem such as an arteriovenous malformation can feel reassured knowing that there's a large team of doctors, specialized physicists and scientists and technicians all working collaboratively to provide your tailored care, which makes it safer and makes it more effective. Being able to collaborate with other physicians is what really makes better quality care for the patients. Being able to um, have that communication with the neurosurgeons, being able to have their input and um, help them do their job also really just makes it great for the patients and it's a wonderful experience for us too because we really enjoy the getting together and making certain we're doing what's right for the patient. It's really exciting time uh, to be practicing uh, in this specialty at CMC now. It used to be that patients in this state with arteriovenous malformations had to be referred out of state for their care, but now we have these technologies here to provide treatment of these complex issues at home.